Hello, this is the Virtual Reality Gremlin, and in this video we're going to be going over the basic options and setup for voice attack. To get started, let's start with the options by checking on the wrench at the top of the screen. Underneath here you will find the options for the look and feel of voice attack on your computer. You have the ability to check various boxes that change how voice attack functions on your computer such as launching at startup or not. Uh, you have the ability to set up a specific profile to launch when voice attack launches and we'll go over that in more detail when we start building profiles. You can set up how the display looks on your screen, you can set up how it resets on your screen, you can set up your keyboard layout for the various regions that you are in and that voice attack supports. You have the ability to change or set up joystick options depending on what kind of joystick you use. We'll go over that in detail in another video. And some basic information about where your sound files are and how to access those. All right, in the next tab, you have uh, recognition. You're able to change the speech recognition engine to the region that you're in. You can also add some delays and weight and confidence to your command and disable certain features that uh, make it easier for voice attack to understand you depending on the environment that you're working in. You also have the ability to provide exclusions that will prevent the voice attack from picking those words up if said. In the audio tab, you will find additional functionality for enabling not notification sounds, fade outs, force legacy, and fine tuning your volume, as well as setting up how your uh, equipment is configured. So you can change where your audios are going to and from. In the hotkeys tab, you have the ability to program hotkeys such as a push talk functionality for voice attack, so it only hears you when you press that button, and other commands. In the system and advanced tab, you have the ability to put in additional information or functionality into voice attack, such as showing warnings when third party apps are being used with voice attack blocking commands and uh, stop running commands when you're editing. Alright, in the next row of buttons you have the ability to edit any commands that you've assigned to your profile and we'll go into detail in this in a, the next video. You have the ability to create, export, import, duplicate, and delete profile information. Again, this will be covered in the next video. You have the ability to turn voice tech on and off, hotkeys on and off, mouse shortcuts on and off, voice sticks on and off, and the ability to stop commands while they're running by turning that button. Next, you have your profile loader and where your profile is impacting, such as OBS or any application you have running. Below that, you have your log screen, which allows you to see what's being recognized and what's not being recognized. And you have the ability to hide that, that arrow. You also have some functionality on it. You can copy it, you can put new logs, to the last entry only. Don't show unrecognized items. And you can also set it to uh, clear. So that concludes the basic functionality buttons of voice attack. In the next lesson, we'll go over uh, programming new commands into the My Profile setting and just basic setup.